It's 11 p.m. I didn't really get anything done today. A lot of you have been saying how I need to rest, I need to get sleep, I need to not stay up so late. <laughs> this just slid off, I don't know how. Anyway, a lot of you have been saying that I need to get some rest and recoup and not stay up so late editing vlogs and stuff like that and whatnot. And today, I think my body was just like, you need to like just lie down, sleep, catch up on sleep. So yeah, I actually got up early this morning to go take care of um, my unemployment situation, which I'll get into after this. And so I didn't get enough sleep last night because I also stayed up late editing and then I got up early. So by the time I got home, I was like tired and I ended up going in and out of sleep for a couple hours, had breakfast, and then I had a headache and I knew I had to go to the gym, but then I was like, I just had this headache and I felt tired and groggy. So I ended up sleeping for most of the afternoon into the early evening. And then because I hadn't eaten lunch, I definitely didn't have energy and I felt lethargic and I couldn't really think straight. And it just, it was just, it just begot more lying around, more not doing anything. And I finally ate around 7.30, 8 p.m. lunch and then dinner shortly after that. And now at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, well, I don't want this entire day to be a waste, so I'm gonna get some stuff done. So I wanna do a little cardio, go back, vlog some more, edit yesterday's vlog. Um, and then even if I go to bed late, at least I got a good amount of sleep catching up that I did today. And then tomorrow, hopefully I can hit the ground running, get some more accomplished, answer emails, work on these cocktail videos that I'm doing, um, follow up with AHF on their projects, and yeah, just get stuff going and keep pushing for the competition. All right, cardio time. Okay, so I just finished cardio. I'm back now. I'm feeling a little bit more energized and I'm gonna get stuff done before I go to bed. So I'm gonna do as much as I can as quickly as I can before I crash. But I wanna say a quick thank you to one of my followers and now friends who I met uh, he follows my YouTube videos and, and like my content and he was able to help me this morning get my unemployment for now to tide me over until I get some more, um, until I get some income coming in. So that was like a huge burden off my shoulders this morning. I woke up early this morning to take care of that, got it done. And I just realized like how much of a weight that's been on my shoulders. I didn't even realize because I kind of got used to that feeling of like stress and like impending you know financial crisis <laughs> and yeah after walking out of the office and having that resolved i just like felt so much lighter and relaxed and maybe to come to think of it maybe that's the reason why i was able to relax today and to just like sleep and like give myself the day to just pretty much do nothing not only that but this guy chris thank you so much uh had this gimbal for a smartphone that he doesn't use and he offered it to me because you know he watches my content and he sees that I'm like you know trying to get more equipment and up the quality and all of that so thank you so much Chris for this this is awesome I can't wait to bust into it and try it out see what I can do with it see what cool content I can create with that and then also yeah one of my recent videos I posted uh of me driving in my car with my giant, well, I'm filming on it right now, but my big Canon 80D microphone on top, mounted, holding that as I'm driving to get like a street view to show you guys. And then he said he had this um, 360 camera that he also doesn't use. So I can mount this to my dashboard, one side face me, one side face the road, and give you guys some cool 
footage while I'm driving or I can even talk to you guys while I'm driving and not have to worry about steering with one wheel or steering with one hand and then holding this giant bulky camera with the other hand and trying to be safe. So thank you, Chris. Thank you for all your help and thank you for these guys that are, um, I'm gonna definitely gonna put to good use. Another thing I wanted to talk about is, you know, a lot of my closest friends, relatives, people around me who just care about me, you know, everybody tends to chime in when I'm hustling really hard and tired and going through it and tell me, you know, make sure you get rest, you need to slow down, you need to take a break, you need to take care of yourself, stuff like that. But the thing is, and I understand, I get it, I, I know the mental aspect of it, that I need to be healthy and take care of myself and all of that. I hear it, I agree, I feel it, but at the same time, there's a part of me that knows what I'm capable of inside and has always known what I'm capable of, and it is significantly more than what I'm doing and producing right now. And my, my, my capabilities expand and grow over time. And the way that that happens is that I'm constantly pushing myself. It's like a muscle. It's literally like a muscle. I feel like life is like the gym and the more that I've pushed those last reps and go further and further, yeah, I may be incredibly sore after, I may be in pain, but it's only gonna lead to growth and it's only gonna uh, lead to stronger, bigger, better muscles, which is just my ability to handle life, to tackle things, to be productive, um, to be really efficient, to, uh, yeah, just create to on a level that I've, I never have before. I'm doing that now even just with the daily vlogs. And the amount of workload that I have right now with the daily vlogs and then with AIDS Healthcare Foundation, stuff I'm doing for Plus Life and then other little side projects going on at the same time and podcasts and doing stuff for Jubilee Media and just whatever comes up, that alone like if this was a year ago or even two years ago, I would probably be having a, a, like a panic attack. I'd probably be so overwhelmed. I might have a mental breakdown and like cry. And um, I just know like progressively over time, I, I'm more well equipped to handle more and more. And that's because I'm pushing myself so hard. That's one point. Another point is I know and I believe that in order to be an outlier, to achieve success on a, on a level that is greater than most people, to be in that top percent, you have to be willing to do and think and say and feel things that most people aren't willing or can't. So when, when people around me, when the majority of people around me are saying, you're doing too much, you need to slow down, you need to relax, you need to take care of yourself, I say that, as a good sign that I'm in the right direction, that I'm doing the right thing and to not stop and to keep going because that means that I'm standing out as someone who's working harder than they recognize anyone else working or doing more than what they see other people doing and that's exactly where I wanna be. So with all of that said, the challenge is for me to find that sweet spot between between um, extreme growth, pushing myself really hard, uh, doing more and doing more efficiently than those around me, but not quite going too far that I cause myself to break down, shut down, get sick, you know, um, downward spiral or any of those other negative health consequences. So I'm tr it's it's constantly trying to navigate this this like I wouldn't I don't want to call it a tightrope because it doesn't feel like it's that precarious and I'm. And over time, I've gotten better and better at just listening to my body and what my body's telling me and, and going off of that. But there, there is definitely a fine line between, you know, uh, really going to the extremes like an extreme athlete and then just being reckless and careless and dangerous with myself. And um, I'm getting better and better at walking that line. And that's the goal. So, I don't know. That's just a tangent I wanted to go on. And... Uh, Maybe some of you will agree, some of you will strongly disagree, and that's okay. But all I know is I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm working harder and better and faster than I ever have. And I know I have a lot more in me, so I'm going to keep pushing. And I'm going to, you know, every once in a while take little breaks when my body cues me into, like it did today. And other than that, I got no complaints.